morning guys and I'm here I'm back with another video okay so this time guys itong update ko is about um two things first yung aking tag okay um as H5 teacher ng 51 talk and the second one is regarding dun sa special plotting okay so before I talk about that good morning sa inyo okay so may time ako ngayon because sinuspend yung klase dito sa amin actually yesterday sinuspend kasi maulan hindi ulang ulang bagyo it's just that we are being affected by the southwest monsoon. Okay, so yesterday talagang maulan siya and then baha na sa kalsa, kalsada namin. Um, matakot nga kami, baka pumasok na siya ng garahe and then sooner sa bahay na. Pero thankfully, hindi naman tumuloy. And then today, wala nang baha sa daan namin. Pero suspended pa rin ang class kasi I know many areas here in our town, hindi lang sa town namin, even in our province, okay, are affected by uh, flooding. Okay, even um sa south, Sa western part nga ng Pangasinan, in the Sul, the Sul Bani, okay? Um, kung familiar kayo sa mga places na yung, ang lalalim ng mga baha, okay? Nag-post sila ng mga pictures yesterday sa Facebook, okay? And then, thankful din ako actually yesterday na walang pasok. Kasi, irregular menstruation ako guys. And finally, dinatnan ulit ako kagahak nung Sunday ng gabi. Ah, Sunday ng ah. Sunday, and then syempre pag first day, alam nyo na yung mga girls, case struggle natin. Pag masakit, okay, painful, menstru medyo painful, dysmenorrhea ba tawag na? Dys dysmenorrhea. Okay, so, um, so yun, now I'm back, okay, so let's go. Okay, so unahin natin yung regarding sa aki H5 tagging. So as you can see, here is my, okay, my page, at hindi pa rin ako nakatag. And then gaya ng sabi ko last time is that I need to, pas yung tech check. Kasi ang akala ko guys, ang akala ko nung nag-training ako, automatic na yun na hindi mo na kailangan gumawa ng kung ano kasi nag-training ka na. Parang you have you only have to wait for two weeks okay, to have your tagging. Pero hindi pala. You have to have your tech check. So, ang ginawa ko, kinontak ko ang technical check noong, kailan ba yun? Um, let's see here. Okay. So, I have here my transcript. Okay. It happened last September 7, okay? So, ayun, concern both AC and my page. Kasi yung tagging mo ng H5 affected ang AC at my page mo. And then, so yan, okay? So, ang sabi ko, I took my H5 training last August 12, but until now, I'm not yet, I'm not yet tagged. Okay, and then, ang sabi sa akin ni Rain, yung technical help desk agent, okay, is, um... Yun, I I already I I have to do the tech check. So ang pinagawa niya sa akin is I have to open my EAC. Okay, so open ako ng AC. And kailangan kong gawin yung detect bandwidth, uh, bandwidth, okay, bandwidth. And then isend magsend ako sa kanya ng screenshot. Okay? So yan. So open ko ang aking AC. Okay, wait lang guys. So Hmm, 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 tagal. Ang tagal. Okay, so yan. So, ito yung AC ko. Schedule ko for this day. Apat lang. Okay, so apat guys. Kasi, alam nyo naman, busy ako. So, apat lang ang, ang maximum ko per day. So, punta tayo ng settings. Pumunta ka ng settings kasi nandyan yung detect bandwidth. Okay, so last bandwidth. Okay, ang, ang ano ko is 5.0 Mbps. So, pag-linik mo yan. Okay, to get accurate result, please close all other running applications. Hindi ko siya pwede i-close kasi nga nagbi-video tayo ngayon. And so, pag clinic, clinic mo yung start detection, when you click the start detection, it um, magde-detect siya for around 30 seconds. And then, lalabas dyan yung um, bandwidth na meron ka. Okay, so, yun. And then, sinan ko sa kanya kay Rain. And then, after some time, okay, ito na. Um, I regret to inform you that you have failed the technical check. It seems like your CPU did not meet the did not meet the minimum systems requirement. Okay, so actually, okay, hindi ako magiging hypocrite. Of course, I was disappointed na hindi ako nakapasa. Pero at the same time, parang at the same time happy naman. Kasi um in my last video nagko comment si Mam Pulin. Hi Mam Pulin, shout out to you. Okay, um actually hindi ko gustong hindi ko muna gustong magkaroon ng H5 classes. Okay. Maganda, maganda ang H5, hindi ko to sinasabing pangit, okay? Yun nga, um, interactive, maganda siya for levels 0 to 2 students, kasi interactive yung class, okay? But then, sabi nga ng isang kasama ko sa 
GC, pag nag-H5 ka, hindi, wala, wala ka halos tayo magpahinga. Okay? Wala, wala ka halos tayo magpahinga kasi talagang dadag sa inyong booking mo. Maganda yun para sa mga, siguro full-time sa 5-1 to, kung gusto nyo punong-puno yung bookings ninyo, mag-H5 kayo. Okay? Pero kung part-time lang siguro na gaya ko, satisfied na ako dun sa normal na class. Okay? Pero yun nga, syempre, disappointed pa rin ako kasi nag-train, nag-training naman ako. Pero, the good thing is, hindi naman ibig sabihin na kapag na I failed the tech check ngayon, is hindi na ako pwede. As you can see, nandyan pa rin yung H5 teacher na tag. Okay? Um, Naka-gray lang siya. Di ba sayang kung H5 tag ako, di na orange na rin siya. Dagdag pampaganda sa profile. Pero yun, hindi ibig sabihin na I failed na I failed the tech check today, hindi na ako pwede. No. As long as pwede ako magkaroon ng panibagong ng laptop na mas higher yung mas higher yung spec, siguro pwede na. Actually, sinabihan na rin ako ng friend ko before na um, baka hindi po masa yung laptop. Okay, ganun. Okay? Kasi itong laptop ko, guys, nung binili ko to, hindi naman kasi, hindi ko naman kasi ina-expect na magiging teacher ako sa 5-1 to. Okay, or, or anything. Binili ko lang to for um, common things na kailangan gawin ng mga teacher, like encoding, ganon. Actually, dalawa yung laptop namin, meron yung kay mama, kay mother ko. Yun yung ginagamit namin para sa mga paperworks namin sa school. And this one, kasi nagka-problema ako sa laptop na to before, Asus ito, madaming issues, and then finally, <laughs> ginamit ko ng ginamit yung warranty until now, okay na siya. Okay, so, yun. So, okay lang. Okay lang na hindi ako, hindi ako H5. Okay, 30% malungkot, but 70% blessed. Okay, oh, hindi naman blessed, happy lang. Okay, 30% malungkot kasi sayang, pampaganda sana ng profile. Dalawa yung tag ko sa taas. Okay, tapos, yun, sad kasi, wala, hindi nga ako na tag. Okay, <laughs> pero happy kasi, satisfied ako guys sa aking, sa aking current situation ngayon, sa mga sudyante ko. Um, And then, sabi ko nga sa inyo, I, I only open a maximum of four, four lessons per, sa weekdays, and then five pag weekends naman. Okay? And then, since kausap ko na rin yung si ma'am, si ma'am Rain sa technical help desk, I also asked her, kasi re, dun sa, regarding doon sa, um, what do you call this one, yung profile update na kailangan ng 5-1 talk, in extension until September 15. Okay, so the problem, ang problema ko guys, yung scanned copy ng diploma ko, diploma ko is more than 2 MB, hindi ko ma-upload. Okay, so I asked technical help desk if ever, if, if pwede nila akong tulungan regarding that problem, I will send them my diploma, bahala na silang mag-upload. Pero they said no, hindi daw yun sakop ng kanilang, um, it's not, it's not under, sabi yun? Yan, I'm afraid that the topic is out of our scope. Okay, so, yun. So, ang bala kong gawin, kasi may mga sinib na rin akong tutorial video sa YouTube regarding um, regarding sa pagpapaliit ng size ng pictures, okay? I might try it on my own, okay? So, may araw, may remaining time pa naman ako until Saturday to do that. Okay? And then, this time po na tayo ng, dun sa problem ko regarding sa special plotting. I told you guys, i-video ko sa rin, pero when I open the form, hindi naman siya ka-video-video kasi you only have to fill in three, at least three, less than five na um, areas. First, of course, is your teacher's name. Second is your, what do you call this one? Um, your location, of course, sa Luzon ako. And then, yun, yung special plotting, guys. Akala ko, pag nag-apply ka doon, is, it, will, it will apply parang all throughout na, parang continuous na siya, pero hindi. Yung special plotting, guys, you have to apply for it every cut-off, okay? So, nung nag-apply ako, applicable lang siya hanggang September 15. And then, ang nakaka-disappoint doon, akala ko covered lahat ng araw. Pero no, they only have, they will, they will only give you four days na options, okay? You have your Friday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday lang. Ang pwede kang mag, um, mag, mag-book ng at least one. Okay? At least one lesson lang dun sa mga araw na yun. In my case, ang problema ko kasi, guys, iyong weekdays. Okay? Siyempre, pag Monday, siguro yung Monday, pwede kong gawan ng paraan yon Okay? Pwede. Pero yung Friday, kasi Friday, di ba, siyempre, anticipating ka na sa weekend. No need. And then, weekend, sa gabi lang naman kasi ako nagbubuk, so hindi siya masyadong affected. Okay? So, yun, parang useless yung special plotting, pero still, nag-apply ako para lang ma-check. And then, 
with wala pang 24 hours nagreply na sa akin i received a text message okay pasahin ko okay wait lang guys wait lang where is it 5 1 talk ato uh, it ginawa ko yung request ko ng September 7 din and then September 8 naka receive na agad ako ng reply so your special plotting request has been approved you have 24 hours to plot your schedule and then see my page my contact log okay so punta tayo sa aking contact log okay so contact log ayun na okay so September 8 2019 others contacted by teacher support admins remark admins remark Special plotting approved, cut, cut off periods, September 1 to September 15, 2019. Per cut off lang siya, guys. And then, remarks yun nga, you have 24 hours to plot your schedule. Your spe special plotting privileges will be turned off after. Okay? So, after kong ma-receive yun, guys. Actually, after ko siyang ma-receive, September 8 is Sunday. Okay, September 8, Sunday, nag nagbook na rin ako, guys. Nag nag-open na ako ng slots ko. And then hindi ko na masyadong tinignan niya, okay? So nag-open na ako, punta tayo ng aking home. Uh, so yes, shift management. Nag-open na rin ako ng 64 slots for next cut off, okay? So madali lang sana ang solusyonan, guys. Ano, madali kang mag-close tong slot. Pero in my case kasi, guys, um, hindi ako nagyayabang or what, hindi ako nagbo-boast. Actually, thankful ako dito. Kaka-open ko lang siya nung Sunday, ng gabi. Okay, and then, look, punta tayo ng home. Meron na agad akong mga, meron na ako agad mga booking, okay? So, yan. So, September 16, meron na agad tatlo out of four. Okay, so meron na lang isa. Okay, and then meron na. So, doon ako na mga problema, guys, kasi... Madalas puno ang schedule ko and I'm very thankful for that. Okay, I hope it will it will also be true for other teachers ng 51 Talk. Okay, kasi yung iba nagkakaproblema pa rin until now. So yun. <laughs> I hope sana ganyan, mag-open ako ng slot tapos hindi siya mabook para ma-close ko. Pero hindi, bihirang mangyari sa akin yun. So yun yung problema ko. Ngayon, okay, hindi ko naman kasi alam kung kailan talaga yung contest ng school paper ng campus journalism. Okay, kaya... I don't know kung paano. Siguro magbabawas ako kasi na may booking na ako for the first week ng next cut-off. Pero yung mga susunod wala pa. Baka dun ako magbawas. Siguro ibaba ko lang siya up to 55. Okay? 55 slots. Para pasok sa minimum. Okay? So, yun, guys. Useless sa akin. Sa akin lang ha. Useless yung special plotting. Pero ginagawa to ng mga co-teachers. Co-teachers ko nakasama ko dun sa GC. Sa first GC ko sa Skype. Um, kasi yun nga yung mababa pa rin yung bookings nila. Kasi ang kasi pag hindi sila pag hindi sila nag-apply for special plotting, mag-aabang sila kasi bad naka-open yung slot mo, abang ka kung mag, may kung mabubuk pa siya o hindi. Eh paano kung hindi? Sayang naman yung oras nila. So nag-apply sila, I think dalawa sila eh. Um naka 2 months na si, two, two cut off sa sila na naka-special plotting and yun nga, those two yung may problema sa bookings talaga. Pero in my case, Siguro, ang pinaka-best na lang na gagawin ko is i-limit sa 55 lang na slots per cut off yung aking open slots. Number ng aking open slots, okay? So, special plotting for me is not, uh, uh, is useless, <laughs> to, to, be di to be honest, directly. And then, yun. Sad, hindi ako H5 tag, okay? Pero, maybe in the future kasi I'm also planning to buy, of course, new gadgets, okay? Especially laptop. Okay. Baka bumili ako ng laptop na may higher specs, okay? And then that time siguro pag nag-tech check ako, tech check ako papasa na. Okay? Kasi itong laptop na gamit ko ngayon very basic lang siya for basic uses. <laughs> Kaya siguro hindi pumasa. Okay? So, that's all muna for today, guys. Okay? Yun muna ang update ko. And then, hindi ko pa rin nagagawa yung aking video regarding doon sa preparation ko before my class, pero Okay, mag-alala guys, makakapunta tayo dyan. Makakapunta tayo dyan. And then, if you look at my video dito sa aking... I'm just using my the camera of this laptop guys. And then, syempre, malabo siya. That's why I, I plan to buy a... What do you call it? Web, what do you call it? Webcam. Bala kong bumili. Para luminaw-linaw naman ako. 
Okay? So, yun muna guys. Goodbye! And see you in my next videos. Okay? Ariba-ariba lang tayo dito sa 5-1-talk.